Mr. Mayaki, you're over in Frankfurt at the Development Finance Forum of KFW. And you mentioned on a panel that African governments have seen a tremendous increase of budgets available to them in the last decade or so. In Maputo and in Malabo, these governments had declared to allocate 10% of their budget towards agriculture. Now, why has this allocation not taken place so far? And what could be done about it? The internal revenue was increased because governments put in place the necessary macroeconomic measures and took the governance measures in order to allow an increase in internal revenue. It's a good thing. Uh, Maputo decided a target of 10% of, of public resources allocated to agriculture. If we look at the stats today, about seven countries since 2005 have invested at least once more than 10% in the agricultural sector and around 23 countries have invested between 7 and 10% of their public resources. So we are beyond the target. The positive thing is that the curve and the tendency is very positive because we see more and more countries investing more. But it's not enough because we are way beyond the target and we need to do much more. So in uh, Malabo, we framed the Malabo strategy and we included in, uh, in CADEP a results framework that will allow us to track more effectively a certain number of indicators and among these indicators will be the one regarding public resources. So it will allow us to push the leaders to be much more accountable and much more in coherence with their political speeches. As you know, every candidate to a presidential post in Africa, all of them, every candidate announces that agriculture and rural development is its priority. So we need to take them at the word and show to them that uh, in terms of accountability, they are doing well or they are not doing well. But I'm optimistic because uh, agriculture has been re uh, placed again at the center of the public policy debate. And I'm optimistic also because there are, with democratization and intensification of democracy, civil society organizations group, farmers organizations are getting more and more present in the policy design uh, processes and they pressure the governments so that uh, their public allocation to the sector does increase. You mentioned CADEB already. Now, does NEPAD have the authority to organize the different players around CADEB? I'm asking because there seems to be a lack of clarity on who's doing what in the results framework. You're absolutely right. There is, uh, the landscape has to be much more organized. Now, theoretically, if we look at NEPAD's role, it is a role of implementing agency of the African Union. So the African Union Commission has a role to play in terms of policy, at policy level, and we have a role to play at implementation level which means that it is our responsibility as an implementing agency to work and support the regional economic communities and then work, and work with and support the national governments so that we have that vertical coherence from the continental level to the national level. So fundamentally, as a, an implementing agency, we need to provide technical support we need to evaluate how the implementation is taking place and then take the feedback, get the stats, the data, take the feedback to the regional and the continental level so that the adjustments can be made. This is the theoretical model. Now, we are facing evidently challenges, challenges in terms of increasing our own internal capacity, challenges in terms of coordinating the several actors, challenges in terms of the capacities of regional economic communities themselves to act at regional level, 
challenges of African Union Commission level because sometimes some of them don't really understand the difference between policy design and implementation. Most of them do, but some of them don't. So within these challenges, we have to be uh, very, very firm, uh, very uh, adaptive, but keep in mind that if there is no coherence, uh, implementation will hardly take place. One message from your side to the donors that are active in agriculture and rural development? From the donors, you know, since uh, Paris Declaration to Accra to Busan, there are two main principles that are very important. Uh, alignment is important. So now what we are requesting is alignment to Malabo. I think it's important. And uh, two, uh, um, uh, frame their frameworks according to the needs within that context of alignment. So if we have that through a sound communication, I think uh, uh, things uh, will go okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.